Hey everyone, God bless you. Thanks a lot for tuning in. My reflection today I've entitled Spiritual Life in Marriage. How does one's spiritual life change when you get married? It's a very important question and laying a good foundation in devotion and in spiritual life when you get married is basic to a happy and prosperous marriage. And what do you know? I just happen to have a book right here all about marriage preparation. And what do you know? The ninth chapter happens to be dedicated to this very subject, spiritual life. And just to whet your appetite for the juiciness that is in this chapter, allow me to read perhaps the most beautiful letter uh, about marriage by married Christians in the history of ecclesiastical literature. Uh, this is written by Tertullian to his wife. It's called just a letter to his wife. And this is the end of the second century, the beginning of the third century. Listen to this uh, poetry almost. Where the flesh is one, one is the spirit too. Together they pray, together they prostrate themselves, together perform their fasts, mutually teaching, mutually exhorting, mutually sustaining. Equally are they both found in the church of God, equally at the banquet of God, equally in straits, in persecutions, in refreshments, neither hides from the other, neither shuns the other, neither is troublesome to the other. The sick is visited, the indigent relieved with freedom. Alms are given without danger of torment, sacrifices without scruple, daily diligence without impediment. There is no stealthy singing, no trembling greeting, no mute benediction. Between the two echo psalms and hymns, and they mutually challenge each other, which shall better chant to their Lord. Such things when Christ sees and hears, he rejoices. To these he sends his own peace, where two are, there withal is he himself, and where he is, there the evil one is not. Ooh. There is your answer of what spiritual life can be in Christian marriage. A mutual, sacred competition on who can better love the Lord and sing his praise. A mutual encouragement to serve the poor, to practice every virtue. The magnetism, dear ones, of the kingdom of God is so great that every aspect of Christian life is impacted by the presence of Christ in his kingdom in that married couple's union. So be crucified in all parts, to use the words of St. John Chrysostom. Be crucified in all parts and... If you use marriage like this, this is the kingdom of God. God be with you. Just in time for St. Valentine's Day, Patristic Nectar Publications is pleased to present Enduring Love, Laying Christian Foundations for Marriage. Marriage Preparation together with the sacred institution itself, has fallen on hard times in the post-Christian West. It is more important than ever for couples to saturate their hearts and minds with the glorious vision of holy matrimony presented by the church in holy tradition and lived by countless saints. Here in these pages, couples will find inspired teaching from the holy scriptures, the writings of the holy fathers, and the service text of the sacrament itself on how to live in a genuinely Christian marriage in which the home becomes a domestic church. Through enduring love, may God inspire the hearts of those preparing to be married and also those already married who would like to deepen their union and render it more pleasing to God. Available now at Amazon and Barnes & Noble.